Hey, so while it's fresh, I just wanted to again share about what happened a couple hours ago. So basically, I'm going from Where did I pick up that load from? I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, I was going to Hazleton, Pennsylvania. So I picked it up from Burlington, New Jersey. I'm going to think I don't remember what highway I was coming up on but I came up to route 80 and it's really foggy it's foggy the whole uh, highway basically up to 80 and it's foggy on 80 and I wasn't going to be on I-80 very long in Pennsylvania but uh, there must have been an accident or something because they had the road shut down so okay no big deal I'm running uh, truck or something my brain is just not working sorry so it's an app right trucker what is this thing trucker path so instead of the satellite because it's easier and so i get off and i'm like no big deal it plots a new course generally if i was in maybe new york city i might put on the GPS satellite too, just in case. But I was like, yeah, hey, it's Pennsylvania, it should be all right. So it's sending me down this country road, no, no surprise, but it's still foggy. And then I get to Weatherton, Pennsylvania. It's like kind of like weather and it's still foggy and I pass this like truck route sign. I'm like, eh, should I, should I have turned there? I wasn't sure. And, but the trucker path is still telling me to keep going straight. And so I keep going and then I see another sign. It says uh, trucks, truck route, right? So, and it's not the route that I'm going. So I was like, eh, well, trucker path still tells me to keep going. So anyway, so, I come up upon another sign that says steep downgrade, like 10%. I'm like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so you, you just take it slow, right? So then I come up to this really slow turn, right turn. I'm like, okay, not too bad. And I make the turn. I'm like, yeah, that wasn't that bad. And then there's a sharp, sharp left turn. And there's a building on the corner. And it's on a steep, must have been a 10 that must have been the 10% grade. And I start to panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing? What what I get myself into, right? So I'm like, okay, I think I can make it. And so it's just like, they don't give you enough, uh, too much room to turn. And I, I start making a turn and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Let me try to reverse out of this. And the road is slick because there's, it just rained or something. It's moist, you know, the fog in the air. Tires are slipping, so I'm like, okay, put it, let me put on the four-way wheels. I think they're called Crocs. I've, but that helped me back up a little bit, but I'm like, no, I have to just follow through with this. And hopefully <laughs> I don't graze the side of this building here. It's a house, like, uh, it's just weird. Like, I'm sure like once a month, they probably have issues with somebody grazing their building. And they have actually cameras on the corner because I'm sure it happens so often. And so I'm pulling up and they they seem to become smart because they built up the little corner like right next to the building so that if a trailer does go on it, it lifts it. And then my concern is, okay, what happens when my back tires, trailer tires clear that? Is it gonna rock right into the building, right? So thank the Lord, like I just, I, it must've been like, like I made it by like a foot, which is not too bad. And then it did rock, but it's, you know, maybe six inches, I don't know, eight inches. So I just thank the Lord because I was, that really scared me. I haven't really had a scary experience. And that's, those are one of the experiences that, that makes you want to quit trucking. But I think with trucker app, <laughs> which failed this time, because, you know, you run into these low bridges and stuff and, 
I'm fueling right now. CNG, right? So, but I'm not really too worried about it. I mean, I made it, but you, you ever have these experiences like this is the day. I'm not going to make it past this day, right? And thank, thank the Lord I did. And it's really interesting too because it's Passover. It was Passover night and it's a full moon. It was foggy. It was just interesting. I took a little video later on as I, I was just relieved to be through that situation. Like I pulled over as the moon is shining down upon the road. First, it happened twice as I was leaving. I was going through a huge forest and the, the uh, full moon was like lighting up the path. It was pretty cool. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. But there was no way where to pull over or anything to take a video and then it happened again a little bit later where I could pull over on the side of the road so I took a video of that and my emotions were still very high like freaked out scary kind of high and so that's basically it. I just wanted to share that while it was fresh crazy experience I'm not really worried about it I still I think though what I've learned though is that Unless I really know the area, I should probably put on the satellite too and just kind of study just a little bit more so I don't run into that situation. Because that was really scary. And there was, I, I mean, like, what would, I don't even know what I would have done. I would have had to just follow through and just tour the side of the, the trailer in the building because what could I do? Unhook? And I mean, it's slippery. You know, is somebody else going to come and take it? You know, it just didn't make sense. And the only thing I was just hoping for was somebody to help guide me, you know, but there was nobody like you no know, other trucker or somebody say, okay, pull up more, go back up. You know, you just kind of had to figure it out. But anyway, that's my story. God bless y'all. Bye.